Hello friends, I'm Professor Imran Sayyad. Today I'm going to help you to draw a ladder diagram and execute the same for full adder. Now, to, in order to execute ladder diagram for full adder, we first need to have uh, the logical diagram for full adder along with its truth table, as well as we'll have to have a ladder diagram for full adder. So first I'll open the ladder diagram, which I have already prepared and which is in this computer right now. So I will open the program through RS Micro Logics English. Here it is. I have directly opened the program. So it is RS Logics Micro Starter Light is the software. And this is the program for full adder. And as and when you I, I take you through this program, let me also show you through table and logical diagram for full adder. So I have opened it over here. So this is the logical diagram wherein we have two XOR gates, one over here, the other one over here, two AND gates and an OR gate. We have three inputs, input A, input B and input C in. Now, in order to convert this into ladder diagram, let's see what we have done. We need to see if we have prepared an XOR logic. So we'll go to the ladder diagram. So this is the XOR logic and the inputs are input A and input B and we have taken an output that is B3 point B3 colon 0, 0.0 and this is taken as an input to another XOR gate along with that you have C in which is connected to an output which is O colon 0, 01. Now Going back to the ladder diagram, we have two AND gates. One of the AND gate has output of the first XOR gate and C in as another input. So let's see if it is there. So this is C in and the output of this XOR gate is B3 colon 0 slash 0. So B3 colon 0 slash 0 and C in are in AND gate form which is connected to another internal memory bit that is B3 colon 0, 2. And then we'll go back to this AND gate which has two inputs A and B and the output of AND gate is connected to OR gate. The output of this AND gate is also connected as one of the inputs to OR gate. So let's go back to the diagram. So this is input A, input B which is ANDing and the output is B3 colon 0, 3. So B3 colon 0, 2 is the output of this 2. B3 colon 0, 3 is the output of this 2 ending. So these two are taken in OR form that is B3 colon 0, 3, B3 colon 0, 2 and it is given to the carry bit. So this makes the full adder circuit in the ladder diagram form. Now let's quickly have a look at the truth table. So this is the truth table wherein when all the three inputs are zero, the sum bit and the carry bit are zero. So let's see in the ladder diagram. Now for that we need to first execute the ladder diagram so that we can verify the ladder diagram along with the truth table. To execute this ladder diagram, let me quickly click on verify project. Here it is. Verify as completed. No errors found. Now, in order to put this into run mode, I'll have to go on emulator. So this is the option to go on emulator. Here I click. It will give you an error message, which we need to ignore. I'll click on OK. And RS Logic Simulator 500 has opened up. Now over here, I'll click on File and I'll click on Open. Now, before I do that, let me just verify this project and save it. It is essential to save the project once you verify that. Now again, I'll open emulator. I'll go to file. I'll click on open. And now you need to open the file which you've just verified. So I'll go here and I'll click on open. Now here I'll punch in the address of my virtual PLC because we're using a simulator which is one. I'll click on OK. And here I'll click on run. Now my PLC is in run mode. Here 
it still shows offline so i'll click on the drop down arrow and click on go online so now this will turn green and this will start rotating there it is so it has started rotating and it means that my plc is in run mode and it is also online so now let me have a quick look at the truth table when all the three inputs are zero some bit and the carry bit are also zero let's see this is the sum bit this is the carry bit my a input a is zero input b is zero and the scene which means i have not applied any input so all the three inputs are zero so these inputs now how why do i say it is zero i'll right click and click on force off well force off means you have not given any signal i'll right click on this and here also i'll click on force off so this is zero this is zero and c in i'll click on force off off means you have not given any input now we'll move on to the second part of truth table so here a is zero b is zero and c in is one so when c in is one sum becomes one and carry becomes zero let's see that now so i'll make c in as force on so the sum has become one and the carry bit is zero now i'll again go back to the truth table now input b is one carry is zero sum is one and carry out is zero c in is zero b is one let's see so first i need to make this force off and i'll make b on again the sum bit is one carry bit is zero so let me go back to the truth table now here input b and c in both are one so the carry out will be one and sum will be zero so because c in is already uh, sorry b input is already one i'll make this one by turning it on so now your sum has become zero and your carry bit over here has become one so here it is one one this is zero and this is one similarly we can go on with the other bits of the truth table let me just quickly go to the final uh, bit pattern a is one b is one c in is one so sum will be one and carry will also be one so let me just quickly do that here c is one b is one now i'll make this force on so you can see sum is one and carry is one so with that we can say that we have verified the truth table of full adder with the ladder diagram that we have just mentioned so that's it from my end about full adder and its verification using ladder diagram thank you all of you keep watching and keep learning thank you